Okay, here we go. We're almost finished with him. Uh, the main, I got it a little bit of, to a point. What you want to do is you want to take your little V-tool, okay, and you just want to go up on one side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Going upward, you want to go up on one side. All right. And you can make it finer than this if you want. Take your time with it. Okay, and then you're going to go do the other side. Alright. Let me get this done for you and I'll show you what that looks like and we'll do the hoofs and the tail. I still have to do the nose. So let's do that for a second. Okay, so that's what his mane should look like. Alright. Something similar to that. Um, and I'm going to randomly go back over it. You know, instead of making it look like it's a same cut all the way down, make it a little more jagged. And then with the foot, what you want to do is you want to take your knife and you want to draw the, like the horseshoe look to it. Put a stop cut in, like so. Okay. And you want to cut that out. Now follow that out a little bit. And then you're just going to go back in here and you're going to level it out a little bit. So it's a little bit lower than the other. Okay. And I'll do the same thing over here to this foot. And the last but not least is tail. So we're going to just do the very end part of the tail. Just do a little stop cut. Take the little V tool again. We're just going to go up and put some little straggles there. Okay. That's pretty well it. I'm going to go back and clean up everything. Oh, the nose. I'm sorry. The nose has to be done. Let me see what size we need here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking my little um, gouge and I'm going on one side of the nose and then going from the other side and knocking out a little piece. The hard part again is matching them up. So let's put a little where we need them. Okay. Go from one side. Do not twist it because what happens when you twist it, take it out and recut it. When you twist it, you end up taking out, ripping apart stuff. It's not really like a drill, okay? And I just did that. What I just said I shouldn't have done. It's a little bit of a lip there. So let me take that down a little bit. All right. I'll redefine those that nose, but that's pretty well the end of the giraffe. And I didn't do the nose on my other giraffe, so I have two. I mean, zebras. So I'm gonna. They're gonna be a little bit of a challenge to paint. See, the ears are a little bit more pointier here than here. They're a little more thicker and a little nicer, facing outward. This one's facing inward. Um, they can do either or. But um, this will be a very interesting piece once they're painted. They'll, they'll look really, I think they'll look fine. So that will be our, our zebra uh, project. And when I come back, we'll go ahead and finish them up uh, painting. And I'll explain all that to you in my last video of the zebras. 
Okay, take care folks and uh, we'll be back very shortly in a day or two when I have the painting done. Because the black and white is really going to be a tough, um, not tough, but more intricate to do. Simply because they're black and white. Um, and if you want to get started with it, always paint the white first and the black second. Because it's very hard to cover the black with white than it is to cover the... Um, the white with the black. Okay? Take care and we'll talk to you soon again and we'll have another video going of uh, another project but we'll finish this one up very shortly. Bye bye folks.